create t-shirt designs on Canva to sell online. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can create amazing looking t-shirt design on Canva and how you can sell them online and make money. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm over here on Canva and it's a great software. It's completely free. You don't have to do anything, uh, although you can buy it there is a pro plan but if you're going to use it for like you know small tasks then it's better to you know you stick with the free version so let's get started so usually people would like to create designs online like t-shirt design and then upload them onto websites such as shopify or printful or gelato or other print on demand websites and you know sell them online as their own design so that's what mainly what people do so over here in this video i'm going to tell you how you can create your very own t-shirt design and it's very easy as well so what we'll do is we'll just simply come over here onto the search bar and we'll just simply search for t-shirts because there is no t-shirt option in the highlight so we'll just simply search for over here so we'll just search for t-shirt and over here you will see you have t-shirts professional t-shirts christmas t-shirts and just simply plain old t-shirts and then you have a bunch of different options that you can choose so let's go with simple t-shirts it all depends on you the canvas size is going to be the exact same so then over here you have all these different designs that you can use right so over here you have a bunch of different designs that you can use that you can upload and start making money so over here these are some templates you can also create one yourself but it all depends on you right so these are templates and there are about 227 about templates available we have illustrations we have free versions we have pro versions we'll stick with the free version for now and as you can see all these designs over here are free and we can use them as well so let's get started so i'm going to go ahead and create a blank ten canvas over here and i'm going to create a design on my own and let's see if i can create a decent looking design and if you don't have any inspiration you don't know how to do that you can also go on to pinterest and find some cool looking design so if i come over here onto pinterest and i just simply go over here onto their website once you come over to here on pinterest all you have to do is just simply search for let's say t-shirts design all right so we'll just say t-shirts over here t-shirt design there you go we'll search for it and hopefully we can find some so as you can see we have a bunch of different ones so something like this can easily be created on canva uh something like this as well as you can see simple looking shirts nothing too crazy so let's go ahead and try to design one right so let's go ahead and do it so over here what we'll do is i'll just simply add like a text element over here i'll add a text and i'll call it love or love something like that i think it, love is good we'll just increase that and now i just want to change the fonts to horizon yeah that looks nice we'll move it over here in the middle now i just want to increase the size of it like take it all the way over here there we go now what i'll do is i'll just copy it and paste it two times and i'll put one over here and put one right below here like right over there there we go now i'll change the fonts of this one to something else let's see over here something hollow if i can find it there should be a font over here that works best or maybe we can add like an effect to it we can add hollow here we go yeah this is what i was talking about let's go ahead and add another hollow over here there we go we'll add another effect splice them no i think hollow looks good we'll add like a glitch as well maybe glow and we'll keep that hollow and in the middle one we'll make it a little bit yellow here we go that looks nice we'll decrease the spread a little transparency is 100 percent. yeah here we go next we'll just simply copy and paste this right over here and this one i'll put over here and then this one i'll put over here so something like this i don't know if they're all centered aligned perfectly but we know it works if it works there we go let me just i'll move this other one a little bit down as well so something like that and then move this one up as well copy that paste that one more time and then we'll put that over there so as you can see something like this would look nice on a t-shirt i uh, granted this isn't the best one but so i'll do my best so this looks nice so now what we'll do is we'll just leave it at that 
Next, you can just simply go ahead and download this design. Let's go ahead and download it. I'm going to click on share. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download and I'm going to download as a PNG. And then I'm going to simply download it and I'll put it over here. There we go. Created other ones as well. Now, once you have done that, you are good to go. Then you are ready to sell it online. Now, you could go ahead and upload your design onto multiple different websites. So for now, I'm going to go with Gelato dot com and over here i'm gonna upload my design so let me just get sign in real quick you can go with uh, other websites such as redbubble or printful or printify whichever one you think is best so for now i'm gonna go with gelato so over here i'm just simply gonna choose a you know i'm gonna click on product catalog and before i do that i'm gonna click on store and over here, I'm simply going to add product over here. Then I'm going to choose men's clothing and I'll just choose t-shirt. I'm going to choose the premium t-shirt. And now we're just simply going to upload our design. So over here, as I said before, we'll just choose the different sizes of the shirt and different colors of the shirt as well. So choosing black. Yeah, I think black would look cool. Now, all we have to do is click on add new, add image. And we'll just upload our design over here. So now we just simply click on the design that we want. So it's uploading as of right now. Now I don't want this design. I'll delete that and I'll add this one. Here we go. So as you can see the, how it looks like. And once we've done that, we are good to go. So now I know it, the white background does not look good. But you can easily remove the background if you just go over to a background removal website. And you put it over there and it'll remove the background. So that's how it looks like. Let me just choose another image as well. Add more from my device. I'll choose this one and this one. I created these earlier. So let's just wait for them to be uploaded. And I think this one is uploaded. So let's go ahead and see how that one looks. So if we click over here, so as you can see, that looks as well. It looks pretty cool as well. And then what about this one? Yeah, I think this looks even better. So yeah. As you can see, this looks pretty cool. And once you have designed your shirt, you've made a design, all you have to do is just simply click on continue to media. And then you just choose your mock-up styles, uh, depending upon which type of website you use on Printful. On Gelato, they have these mock-up designs that you can choose from. And once you've chosen the mock-up designs, you are good to go. Since there is nothing on the back, I'm not going to choose the back one. But then you just simply click on continue and you are good to go. Then you just enter in the description of your products, the sizes, the lengths, and all of that. And once you've done that, you can click on continue to pricing. And then you over here, you just add in the price. So the original price is going to be this, uh, 10 euros. And then the retail price is going to be this. And our profit is going to be over here. Over here, as you can see, this is how it looks like. Then what you can do is just simply click on publish and then whichever store that you've connected to your print on demand website, then your products will automatically go over to that website. So that's it. That's pretty much it. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you create cool looking designs on Canva. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care. And goodbye.